All right, so we just picked up our key slot from US Tool Shop. We also have our end block pyramid that just arrived. What else we got? We got some 5 8 uh, nuts. We should do it by the unblock. So we got an unblock as well. Unblock with the pyramids to hold down the wheel. We are putting the masking tape just so we don't scratch the bottom. We're going to fit two wheels on this table. Alright, both wheels are in. We're going to indicate. On G54, G55, and that's going to be our work permit. So G54, the wheel on the left, G55, the wheel on the right. So these are directional. So once the drawings are done, it's going to look uh, like a mirror image. So this is our passenger wheel. That's our driver wheel. So these are uh, 22 by 8 and a quarter. The tools we use. Half inch end mill, three flute, a ball end mill, three flute, 45 degree chamfer, half inch, a three eighths flat end mill, three flute to do a polish finish to get in between all the pockets, and our one eighth engraver. So, not that many tools required to do this operation, but there are a lot of uh, steps, just like I showed you guys earlier on the time lapse. So, to do a program, could take me about half a day to a day just to have to make sure that everything is up to par, my T's are crossed, my eyes are dotted, all that good stuff. As far as the machine that we're cutting these wheels, this is a high performance machine. It's a VMC by Viper. We are using the Nuke Series Zero IM controls. Go ahead and load the program. I actually downloaded it as an NC file from Mastercam. And we use a RSJ232. So just like that. Going to USB. This is a DO1 model. We are running a 22 by 8 and a quarter. And we are doing driver and passenger. Oh, look at all the lines so this program should last us about six hours it's a pretty lengthy program and uh, we'll just go back here before we run it because we are going to leave it running overnight our fluid level is right about four and a half so it should be good our air is up 125. And we just have to add coolant, more coolant, just in case coolant levels drop due to the chips or the conveyors uh, not turning and any of the two changes that I might have forgotten. Uh, it's gonna help out. So I think we'll add like a gallon, cools all. And I, there's a ratio, I think 16 to 1. So this is what we use. Use on all metals and operations. It doesn't smell. It gives a longer tool life. So the better cooling you have, the better and longer your tools will last. So he just did G54. Now he's gonna coordinate. He's gonna do work coordinate for G55. Bali. Let it rip. Uh, yeah. So I'm la uno. First wheel.
Check them out. True directional. Looks like a mirror image. <laughs> 